Now, Ron DeSantis, of course, is in the early, in I think, sort of sp sputtering phase of his presidential campaign because you don't see an awful lot of rallies and it all seems now that, you know, you do a million interviews and you can say we've spoken to X number of people, but he's not really showing the energy around him. But he made an interesting comment on a radio show that he thinks that Donald Trump is going too far to the left. Does anyone actually believe this? Well, compared to him... It may be true. Um, you know, compared to DeSantis, he's got some room to argue because take, for example, the trans ideology. DeSantis has come right out and said a man can't become a woman. A woman cannot become a man. That's silly. That's just silly. It's not possible. And has been very aggressive about trying to shut down this nonsense in Florida. Trump hasn't done any of that. Uh, you know, we, we continue to wait Trump's more forceful statement on that. There's reason to believe he's not going to do it. Um, DeSantis has uh, hardcore plans for what he's going to do at the border and uh, how he's going to actually build the wall that Trump didn't build. Well, all right, we'll see. You know, is he actually going to do that? He says he's going to fire the FBI director. Well, we'll f find out whether Trump is saying that. He's trying to get to the right of Trump on quite a few issues. And I think it actually could be effective. He's criticizing the First Step Act, where Trump let a bunch of people who were in jail out of jail, uh, saying that they'd been too harshly sentenced based on drug crimes and other related, not not all drug, there, there were some violent offenders. Um, and DeSantis is saying he would repeal that. So he's found a lane in terms of the primary. Abortion is another thing. DeSantis, as we just discussed, uh, approved a six-week ban on abortion in Florida. Trump hasn't gone nearly that far and wouldn't even say in his recent CNN town hall where he would land on that kind of issue. So there is a lane there for DeSantis to start collecting more conservatives who are driving to, you know, getting, resting the nomination away from Trump. I, I say this every week, not because it's what I want to happen. It's just, you know, you can see down the road. And I get that you say one thing in the primary and then another thing in a general. I do think the abortion ban is going to become a problem. I know you'll be able to say, look, as president, I don't set this stuff, but still there'll be enough... Uh, you know, that'll be the reason in part why The View will, if he buzz, becomes a nominee, they'll bash him all the time. But then again, these were the people who said Mitt Romney was going to destroy the country or John McCain was going to destroy the country. And then they became sort of saintly figures because they bashed up Trump. Um, are you seeing any evidence of somebody who uh, was all in for tr uh, Trump twice and is now a DeSantis person? Some some, but I would say the majority of Trump fans are there to stay. Um, so I talk to them every day when they call in, when I do, the podcast is also a radio show, and they'll call in. And there are some who say, I'm just done because Trump's been losing. You know, he lost in 2020. He cost Republicans the Senate. He seems to have been a drag on the ticket in the midterm elections. And so not to mention the midterms when he was president. And so those people, I think, are calculating that they are more likely to win with someone not named Trump. And those people are gettable by DeSantis. But the problem remains, as it's always been, someplace between 20 and 30 percent of the Republican Party are not Republicans. They're Trumplicans. And they will vote for only one man, and that is Donald Trump. I had a debate with a guy, you know him, Dave Rubin, on my show yeah. on Friday, who loves DeSantis. And he was saying, well, maybe there's a scenario in which Donald Trump loses in the primary, and then he supports Ron DeSantis. <laughs> and I literally laughed out loud. <laughs> no, there is no <laughs> such scenario. That will never happen. Trump no. is not a good loser. He will never admit that he's lost, and he certainly will never help the guy who beat him go on to win the general. So if if DeSantis finds a way around Trump, he's still looking at, at a big, fat spoiler right there in terms of his own election to the White House. The Republicans will need every single voter they have, plus and then some. They, they cannot afford to have some 20% of the party or the people who voted GOP last time sit it out. And so this is just the future that the GOP has written for itself. I think, you know, to a large extent, we're just going to have to sit back and watch it play out.